After six days at sea, we've finally arrived at the Bahamas. It's always exciting to make an arrival after a long ocean passage, and today is no exception. As we make our way into the harbor, we are navigating around a reef, which lies just outside the entrance. Once we've done that and are safely inside, then we can drop the hook and anchor. <laughs> When's the last time you had a click? That's March, I guess, right? Yeah, More probably. Year. Yeah. So our boat is out in the distance. You can see it's Calico Skies. And we're the only boat in the harbor. Place for ourselves. Pretty cool. Hi guys, so it's about 5.30 um, on Friday. We just came in this morning to Bahama Spanish Wells. Just went into town to clear in. Then we picked up some fresh fruits and veggies from the food store. And then we got a drink, having a little vino and a sailboat and it's just such a nice treat. So we couldn't be happier to be here. I can't believe we actually made it to the Bahamas this season. Pretty happy. Oh. Made it to the Bahamas! Cheers, honey. Cheers. It's beautiful here. The water is so clear. Yeah, the water is such a unique color. It's, it's just gorgeous. And I'm actually kind of in shock that we made it here. All the way from Europe. I wasn't sure we were going to be able to do it. it probably, was, that was a, it was a lot of sailing. Probably 5,000 miles or something, right? Yeah, and this is an amazing reward. There you go, yeah. The next morning, the first order of business is to fix the Wi-Fi antenna that got accidentally knocked on the passage over. For this job, 
Bill must climb Calico Sky's 55-foot mast. tool while I'm up here. So Grace is just loosening up the uh, spare main halyard and I'm going to run it back down the dark. Good job. Ow! Hit me. See that? That wind gun is very aggressive. Watch it? Yeah. I didn't catch it on film, but what you missed was Bill accidentally dropping a piece of our wind gen into the water. It's moving pretty slowly. Oh, it's sinking! Bill was working on his next to-do, recalibrating the wind generator, and now the conical-shaped nose piece is quickly sinking. Right there. Unfortunately, the piece took a nosedive and rapidly sank before Bill could make it to the spot. So now he's going to have to go swimming to look for it. Back on the boat, Bill digs out his mask and fins while I watch the spot where it went down. Or I try to. It's hard with the boat moving. But with a little help from a boat that's just come in, who's also watching the spot. You got it? Thank you! Nice, honey. I didn't actually think about the distance. I was so focused on trying to get you lined up with that house. And then when you said that, I was like, yeah, because I had I had thought I could throw you your snorkel mask, so you were definitely closer. Than... Yeah, because it's white. It's like the same color as the sand. With the piece back on board, Bill can now get back to work. This time, I hold on to the precious nose piece until Bill is ready. It's already been for one swim today, and that's enough.
milkshake. Yummy. Tastes <laughs> good. Feels so much cooler now that it's rained. So the water looks amazing and we feel compelled to jump in because it's just super, super clear right now. Join us next time to see our first Bahamas dive, Bill's first catch of the season, and meet some of our best friends. Then see us hatch our plan to attempt navigation of an infamous reef, the Devil's Backbone officially our first buddy boat adventure of the season.